Hello children, uh, once again a warm welcome from my side and welcome in class 12th English. So today my dear children we are going to deal with writing skill as many as uh, other things we have completed. So today uh, we are going to take a short writing task which is known as invitations and reply. Okay, class 12 English invitation and replies. Don't get confused because previous, till previous year, this invitation and reply writing task was coming in four mark question. This year as they have changed the scenario, it might come or rather it is coming in three mark questions. But don't actually uh, look for marking scheme right now as uh, you have to give many more exams before giving the board examination as your internal examination as uh, the coming examination is your half yearly examination so need not to get confused with any marking scheme okay so today we are going to deal with a short writing task that is invitation and reply what is invitation whenever there is any any event or occasions like marriage birthday uh, wedding anniversaries a uh, housewarming ceremony or inauguration of shop and factory uh, and, and many uh, endless number of things uh, we actually organize events uh, we organize the things so we invite people for that so many of the time we draft what we draft cards so that type uh, that uh, particular invite that is called as invitation so my dear children uh, whenever we invite others to our uh, our occasion then we actually draft a card or we invite com uh, verbal communication so that is actually we are inviting them so here we are going to study today the invitation in what format we invite the people and the reply of the invitation that today we are going to study so first of all invitation invitation is of two types formal invitation informal invitation same reply is of two types formal reply and informal reply okay so before going ahead with other things other details what all things come in formal invitation okay whatever you actually publish or draft in a card form okay whatever we do in a card form or formal letter format that is called as formal invitation like all the wedding and, and, and anything any event invitation which is actually drafted on card and anything which is actually drafted in the form of formal letter that is called as formal invitation okay like wedding cards birthday cards everything will come under formal invitation and the formal letter like uh, you are actually inviting a person to be a chief guest in your event or in your occasion then it will again you have to draft in a form of formal letter that is called as formal invitation so what is informal invitation when we personalize in a very personal way we invite our friends and family and we write in the format of informal letter then it is called as informal invitation so we are going to focus first on this and then we are going to focus on replies okay so invitation is of two types formal invitation and informal invitation i told you what are the occasions where we plan to invite other guests and that can be your anniversary your birthday parties it can be wedding inauguration of shops and factory housewarming ceremony whenever that invitation is put in form of cards or formal letter it is called as formal invitation so here we can say that invitation is of 
two types. Number one is formal and number two is informal. Whenever we invite our family and friend people and we give them invitation in by writing us for informal letter in that format, it is called as informal invitation. Okay, my dear children. Now we are going to proceed with what are the main characters of formal invitation so first we are going to take invitation and then we are going to uh, go ahead with reply see uh, it's it's very very simple for you to draft because most of the time we are actually going through the cards bahut sare wedding cards aate hain aapke ghar mein many of the other uh, occasions invitation card come to your house so definitely you just keep those things in mind just draw image of till now whatever wedding cards you have just gone through or house warming ceremony cards and then it will be easy for you to to understand and grasp the thing also so first of all we are going to deal with the main characters of main characters of formal invitation so what are the main characters the first and only point you should get actually remember is that invitation gives all information okay all the information is having main characters of formal invitation is all information should be there for example who whom when where what for and what time so this is basically the main characteristic of your formal invitation who is going to organize or who is going to invite whom are the are, are the invitees when the, the uh, thing is going to be there when is the event or sorry then where it is going to happen what is the purpose what time so all the information specifically you all these doubles you need to remember while you are actually uh, drafting a invitation or rather a formal invitation okay my dear children so uh, main thing is uh, uh, both things it is similar in formal and informal only a slight difference is there in informal invitation so all the information both the formal and informal should carry all the informations so it is it will apply for both the things so mainly for formal invitation who who when where what for and what time you should always remember who is going to organize who will be invited when it is going to happen and where it is going to happen what for means what is the occasion what is the reason what time okay all those things are actually included or should be included in this now we are moving ahead with format format of formal invitation what will be format of formal invitation okay so the number one thing is name of the host name of the host should be there in the case of formal invitation like if it is a wedding card then host name should be there who is the host okay so an invitation card or any formal invitation is incomplete without the name of the host the second is name of the invitee <coughs> excuse me name of the invitee who is it what is invite what do you mean by invitee the person all those who are invited so name of the invitee should be there where it should be there in case of 
in the case of formal letter invitation okay if it is a wedding card host name will be definitely there name of the invitee will be on the card in the case of not on the card means it is a formal letter then for example you are actually inviting mr agnihotri for example to be a chief guest in your school annual day function then you will be drafting a formal letter of invitation in that after sender's address date receiver's address you need to write dr agnihotri or mr agnihotri okay like that so that is the meaning name of the invitee otherwise if it is a wedding card then we usually write the name of the invitee or rather uh, on the envelope of the card not on the bain card okay envelope of the card along with the address of the invitee we do write okay so it should be their name of the invitee the third thing is formal phrase formal phrase such as your benign presence your benign presence where's my duster your benign presence or your uh, presence on the auspicious occasion okay like that should be there so this formal phrase should always be there on your invitation card then it is your date time and venue okay that should be there so this five things should be there in the format of your what invitation formal invitation that is your card or your letter name of the host should be there who is the host name of the invitee i cleared you this should be there always in the case when you write in the case of formal letter i explained you then formal phrase that is your benign presence or your presence is required on the auspicious occasion of this and this like that formal phrase you should use date time venue what is that event on which date what what is the time and what place the invitee has to reach that should be clearly mentioned okay and what is the occasion that is what is the event it should be very it is a wedding it is a first birthday celebration it is a home warming ceremony sorry house warming ceremony the event should be clearly mentioned apart from this you can use variation in the fonts okay the other subsidiary things is variation in font is applicable as well as there can be gapping also you can lie write these things in different uh, areas or leaving one one line okay as we see in what in invitation card but this should be format apart from this it should be inside a box okay and the word limit is 50 word limit the word limit is 50 word limit so i will again explain you name of the host means if the marriage uh, if if the marriage of a son or daughter is there then the host ultimately who becomes the father or the mother so their name should be there on the card if it is a wedding card okay name of the invitee if it is in the case of formal letter i explain you if you are inviting somebody special uh, as a chief guest or if it is in personal formal invitation card for an auspicious occasion like uh, annual function of the school to be make him as chief guest then you have to mention his name otherwise invitee's name are usually written on the envelope not on the main card okay then formal phrase 
uh, like we use your benign presence is required on this auspicious occasion likewise this formal phrases can be used okay then definitely this is very important the date of the event time of the event venue place it should be mentioned very clearly and what is the event should be there and variation in font size can is applicable and uh, you can use as like uh, occasion can be highlighted with a big if it is a like a wedding card then the bridegroom name and the groom name can be in a where uh, in a bigger font and rest of the things can be in other more little smaller than then to highlight something you can use a different font size means the size of the letter is called as font size okay my dear children so uh, variation in the font size can be is applicable it should be inside a box and now 50 word limit should be always there okay it should not exceed than 50 word limit now there are some main character some characteristics are there in formal invitation and when you invite to the uh, lot number of people like if it is a wedding card if it is a birthday card first birthday celebration then a slight difference is there uh, when you invite lot number of people and when you invite a single uh, person means when you write a just a formal letter so characters of formal invitation characters we will do one sample characters of formal invitation meant for this is meant for lot meant for lot number of invitees means it is for the big occasions like when card is being printed for that occasion so such things are applicable because on that occasion like wedding anniversaries for inaugurations for anniversaries there is a lot number of uh, uh, people are being invited in a huge amount then what small few things you are need to take care you should actually uh, just say it is always written in third person okay it is always written in third person in case of VIP or chief guest. You just write along with me, I will explain you. Chief guest name should be highlighted. Okay, some few things. address whose address invitee address on envelope this I told you okay I will explain other things later on first of all I understand this thing number one is third person case when the card is actually drafted it is always in third person if for example it is a, a annual function of the school and the school is printing a what yes the annual function school uh, of the school is there and that annual day card has been printed so who is the chief guest the chief guest name should be highlighted on that card similarly if it's the inauguration of a factory or shop or some big place or a big event is there if the chief uh, guest is coming the name should be highlighted okay so that things needs to be taken care in case of the card okay and address uh, usually in old writing skill we never write the name of the invitees obviously but on the envelope it is definitely written and along with the address it is written so i think first second and third is very very clear now fourth and fifth is no need of the date which date writing date as we used to write in formal letter the date of the writing so no writing date is required so no 
requirement no requirement of writing date date of the event is required okay date of the event is must wedding is on what date that is must but on the card on which date the card was published there is no requirement okay no need of host signature as we used to do in formal letter so in the card it is not required but if it is a letter you may actually sign but only name will also work if it is a formal invitation letter okay my dear children so no need of the whole signature so these things are means applicable for card whenever you draft a card you need not to write the writing date date of writing or uh, no need of host signature but very very important thing is rsvp what is this rsvp it is a french phrase it is a french phrase whose full form is respondents respondents sil vos plate it means please respond or respond please okay so this uh, thing whenever we see this rsvp this actually start it is actually a french phrase whose full we see in indian wedding also so uh, in indian cards also sorry other rsvp is actually a french phrase and it means respondents will waste play it means please respond or please reply uh, it this uh, was actually initiated this habit uh, came into existence so that people can make a proper arrangements for marriage okay and a number or a rather a quantity can be uh, can be actually approximated and on that basis food and other uh, uh, other things can be sorted out so wherever you see rsvp it means please respond means once you receive the card kindly respond that with whether you are coming or not coming in that particular event so in the card rsvp is always written where below side remember it is written below left hand corner okay on the left side it is always written and it is written along with name and address of the host today mobile numbers are also written below left it is written along with name and address of whom of the host so six very very important thing i told you just go through it uh, first of all that i told you that how there should be the host name should be there invitee's name should always be there and on the envelope and third thing i told you that how you need to focus on the things which we write in formal letter like we should not actually sign or writing date is not required in the card okay and there is uh, rsvp that is respondent sil waste play always the card is written uh, in third case that you need to remember okay third person case is it is written and if there is a chief guest you need to highlight that in card and another thing which you need to focus is on rsvp that a full form of rsvp is this it is a french phrase which means please reply reply so it is always written on the left hand corner below side along with the name and address of the host okay my dear children and this characteristics are formal letter is meant for lot number of invitees okay when the invitees number are lot 
but when you are writing for one person in uh, meant for individual then uh, there will be a different case okay there will be a different case when we actually write for one person case it will definitely include the name of invitee okay and other details will be same it should be written in the form of formal letter so this is uh, the characters that one when which we were uh, which we earlier read was for large number of invitees when we are writing a single person through a in through a formal letter then we have to include the name right on the uh, way like how we wrote, we used to write we write used to write like sender's address date receiver address so before receiver address we need to write the name also okay along with the receiver address you need to write the name okay and then subject and then your body and uh, of the letter and then the cl complimentary closure so when you write the receiver's address along with it you need to write the name whereas when you in uh, print a card or draft a card on the card the invitee name is not there it is on the envelope along with the address of the invitee okay my dear children so this thing should be clear whenever there is a uh, invitation formal invitation for a one person individual person then this many changes will be there but it will strictly follow the pattern of formal letter okay one i will be showing you uh, for uh, as a drafting so we will do a marriage card wedding i will be sending you the samples but let's see how to make uh one more thing is that in cards much of the thing is uh, very very uh, uh, we use we used to write in phrases and uh, uh, very short sentences okay while we draft in a card okay whereas when you write a formal letter then in that cases you cannot broke the sentences into lot many parts you might need to write a complete sentences and uh, complete it like a formal letter that you have to uh, actually remember if you see a wedding card how the things are written and if you write a formal letter how the things change content is almost change but the things change into the scenario like it is written in very brief and concise in cards and same as been elaborated in the form of sentences in formal letter so uh, whenever we draft a card there should be always a box so uh, you can uh, start like that if it is a wedding invitation so imaginary we are taking like mrs and mr bajaj now here also invite your presence your cordial presence on the occasion of wedding of their only daughter so see my board is little bit small so it's uh, i just got elaborated you can just uh, this same content you can decrease into one and a half line okay mrs and mr bajaj invites your cordial presence or highly esteemed presence on the occasion of wedding of their only daughter mehak with rahul so here i have changed the font 
you just see okay so here you can write on this should be in center on 7th february 4 garima palace lajpat nagar so this is a rough one i will show you one of the fair so here it is still incomplete it should be in center aligned mrs and mr bajaj why i wrote mrs in the front and mr is because mrs bajaj is known by mr bajaj ne here initial if it is uh, mother's name is anita then you can write mrs anita and mr sanjay bajaj okay you can write it all uh, like this also it can be mrs anita and mr sanjay bajaj invites Uh, your cordial presence on the occasion of the wedding of their only daughter Mahak with Rahul. Here the font size can be changed. Then date, place, okay, and the time. Time you have to write here. Seven p.m. Whatever, okay, and then here. My board is a little bit small, so. uh here there should be rsvp with the name and address of the host and here with love or with regards some people write near and dear ones some write the names of the uh, people so on the right side all the near people or rather the brother and sisters a name can also be written as regarding things so right side is used for whom right side is used for the warm wishing and left side is meant for rsvp so this is a little bit rough but you have to design it like this let me see if i can show you one fair one uh, if i am having yes i am having the fair one uh, this one is the fair one you can just see it here now it is uh, designed like mr mrs and mr nk kanna request the pleasure of your benign presence like this how the font has been changed okay even the bride grooms a uh, father and mother name is also written over here rsvp is here okay so this is one of the things you need to take care of and uh, uh, like uh, informal invitation is similar sorry formal invitation we were not on informal uh, this is the formal invitation we were talking about and this is another formal invitation of a birthday party okay of a birthday party so uh, you have to use a different font size while you are actually drafting a birthday card so i hope that you it will give you a entire uh, picture of a card and if it will be a informal invitation then the same thing will be written in the form of informal letter okay so formal you understood very fair and for informal invitation you need to draft a informal letters that is sender's address date no receiver's address okay and directly salutation and then body of the letter and then closure complimentary closure so this is an informal invitation exactly we write the informal letter that way you have to draft a informal invitation okay sender's address date salutation uh, and then body of the letter means dear 
and you can start like that. There uh, will be no subject in that. Now we are going to proceed with replies. Replies, uh, few things have been changed as if you are going through many of the repressions of different different things. Don't get confused. There are again two types of replies. And one is the formal reply. See, it is now made very, very easy. Reply is very, very easy. And informal reply. So, reply is also of two types. Informal reply, formal reply. Okay. So, formal reply previously in all writing scale. Actually, CBSC accepts both the skills. But uh, we need to understand some new things have been updated. In formal letter, actually previously only just uh, we were writing inside the box and we write that. Mrs. Who is the receiver who write uh, in the third person like Mrs. and uh, Mr. Patak received uh, your invitation like this and thank will be attending means you can say this is an old pattern of writing a formal reply. Just inside a box, drafting four to five lines in a third person like that, that uh, whosoever has received it, he or she writes that we are thankful to you for invitation and we will be very happy to uh, join you for the event. And if you are declining also, if you are accepting, because reply has two notions. One one uh, is the accepting and another notion is declining or rejection of the invitation. Okay, so if you are accepting, the old way of pattern was just drawing, drawing a rectangular box and writing in three to four lines that uh, we are very much thankful to your invitation and we will be joining you for the event. Thanks and regards. Okay, no salutation, even no closure, just the body of the letter is always there. But uh, the new updation in formal reply is whether it is accepting or declining, uh, declining an invitation. You need to write exactly in the form of formal letter. Last year, uh, uh, one question came in the board examination of class 12 that give a, a reply, a, give, write a formal letter of reply. So many children have written or many students wrote like this format what just I told you. They just draw the box and uh, they actually wrote four lines like that is the body of the letter and that was over but when the question was precisely asked that write a formal letter of reply then you have to stick to this and now a new updation in CBSC is there that reply for reply uh, you cannot just stick on this just uh, like making a drawing box so formal reply uh, accepting or declining, you can straightforward write formal letter and no marks will be deducted for it. So don't shy. If you get confused in the question, many of the students were, got confused in the question, but many of the students wrote very well last year because it was an invitation, it was a reply question. Actually, question was of reply, not for me, drafting an invitation card. It was like, and the question was very straight that write a formal letter of reply so you should uh, many of the students actually just draw the box and they just draw the body of the letter this was an all writing skill in reply so for reply you can just write a simple formal letter uh, stating that uh, starting from sender's address date receiver's address and subject and uh, thank you for inviting me i'm very happy and i will be joining the wedding on so, such and such day this is 
is the accepted accepting reply and if you are declining then you have to give a proper reason for declination of the invitation like same in the formal let formal reply it is there formal letter write it write like that in the body same sender's address date receiver's address subject salutation in the body right very happy to know that your daughter is getting married but as i have prior commitments i cannot join you on that particular event so sorry but my wishes for the future like this you need to mention in the letter so now they it is being updated actually we have, we have learned the old pattern like this just just design a rectangular box and write four lines as a body of the letter in a formal reply but even though you are writing a formal letter or of reply means if you are uh, drafting a formal letter in a reply there is no wrong in it okay so you are going to score the mark but that word limit of 50 word limit should be followed because again invitation and reply comes under short writing task okay so i hope you understood what is formal reply same manner you have to write in formal letter and now what is the informal reply again in formal reply informal letter write it in formal letter no problem okay you are no you are not going to lose mark accepting or declining previously in many of the books it is uh, it is there uh, like uh, i will show you one of the format in many of the books you will find this format also in any of the refresher no problem but if the question is very very specific then don't get confused i will show you informal replies are always in informal letter okay formal reply is having the only problem so this was uh, this is declining the invitation formal in some of the I'm, I'm just going to show you in some of the this is a box mr Whipin thanks and mrs and khanna mr and mrs khanna for the kind invitation to their daughter's aditi marriage but regrets his inability to attend to okay this line four lines in a box is a formal reply okay so formal reply nowadays if the question comes write a formal letter of reply just stick to the question what we do do we have a notion of us we have been taught in a manner that we have to draw a box and we have to write four lines stating we accept the invitation we thank we accept and we will be there but if the question state like formal letter of reply kindly write the formal letter and informal letter of reply whether accepting or declining no question or problem you have to write an informal letter okay so informal uh, invitation and informal reply you will find nowhere you will not find any problem except except if you are not thorough with the format of informal letter okay then only you are going to uh, commit blunders otherwise i don't think you are going to commit any blunders okay so informal invitation same as informal letter informal reply same as informal letter only formal drafting that two of card drafting is little bit different but i just assured you you just are you are having a habit of looking to lot many cards so just grasp that thing and you will get it and formal letter of invitation similar to formal letter and also in reply in for, uh, in reply for formal reply you can write a formal letter no harm in it okay no harm in it there you are not going to lose any mark okay my dear children so even though many of the freshers uh, book uh, have uh, having the notion of drawing this box and writing for line that is also acceptable and this is also acceptable okay my dear children and uh, now home assignment as i will be give sending you sample but only one small question i will be like to i will be uh, actually i would like to give to you so that you can practice it let's try whether you can do it or not okay
Should I give you something different? No. I am just giving you one question for your home assignment that is that comes under invitation and reply. That is, you are invited to the, you are, you are invited to the fundamental rights of the children. Fundamental rights of children organized by the Lions Club, organized by, by the Lions Club, organized by the Lions Club of your district, of your district. Respond to the letter. Respond to the letter. Respond to the letter. Accepting the invitation. Accepting the invitation in not more than 50 words. Okay? Now, may I dear children understand the question very, very, at a very first priority. That is your basic thing. You are invited to the fundamental rights of children. Okay? You are invited to a fundamental rights of the children. It means it is a, a big program. So definitely they must have sent you a formal letter, okay? From here only we have that, or rather you are, uh, nothing has been written that you are invited as a chief guest or what, but it has been written that you are invited. Organized by Lions Club, again a prestigious organization, so it is a formal letter. So you have actually received a formal letter of invitation. First of all, see if it is a reply question because it is written, uh, respond to the letter, okay? So now you have to reply. So what invitation you have got? And which reply? If you have got a formal invitation, you have to reply in formal way. If you have received informal invitation, you have to reply like that. So now re respond to the letter accepting the invitation. So just write formal letter as an of acceptance. Sender's address, date, receiver's address, subject, accepting to be present on fundamental rights, fundamental uh, rights of children. Okay, and start the letter like, thank you for inviting me. I will be highly, I will be present there uh, on so and so time. And very much uh, that you people, uh, very much thank that you consider me. Lions, love, whatsoever. I just gave you the value points. Write in a le formal letter format. Okay, the reply, but what limit? As you write for not uh, higher uh, skills like that, not for higher writing tasks, for a letter to editor, that much word limit should not be there. It should be short and precise. So it should be a 50 words. So now a new updation has been there. I, you may find what I showed you on the book uh, in one of the refreshers uh, that in uh, many refreshers, only box making is there and writing four lines as a body of letter but uh, it is it was previously accepted it is an old writing skill but you just imagine if you are receiving a formal letter you will reply through a letter is so all write a formal letter of reply there is no harm in it okay so here you are going to reply by accepting it in a formal way okay so this is your home assignment just one question so all the best for your uh, exams and we will be meeting definitely for our live stream and uh, raise your questions in that and all those who have not sent me your uh, records do send me okay till we meet next time have a nice day goodbye